Hey guys, what's up? Action here. Welcome to another video. So now we have here the latest NVMe SSDs from Kleb, the Crash C920 2TB NVMe Gen 4, and the Crash C720 1TB NVMe Gen 3. In this video, I'll go through its design, features, at saka counting performance tests or benchmarks. First is the box. The Kleb Crash NVMe SSD can be distinguished by its box design. Since yung C720 ay may light blue screen color sa taas, while the C920 features a reflective Kleb logo and dark colorway sa taas. Drive capacity is also indicated sa taas as well as yung PCIe Gen niya and bus like PCIe Gen 3 by 4 or PCIe Gen 4 by 4. In terms of the SSD's design, both doesn't come with any kind of heat sinks on its own. So, de depende ito sa motherboard heatsinks ninyo kung meron but in my testing, they perform well even without heatsinks. Hindi siya ganun kainit and performance will be surely better I think if my heatsinks ito. Blackout PCB so in case you plan to use it na hindi nakatago, okay lang in terms of aesthetics. So, sa features naman, the Crash C720 1TB comes with a NVMe 1.3 and still a PCIe Gen 3 SSD and it uses a Fison controller with SLC or single layer caching then, which is the best tier or premium when it comes to SSD caching technology. And also 3D NAND flash and hardware LDPC ECC or error correcting code for better data reliability. It advertises sequential read and write speeds of up to 3400 and 3100 megabytes per second, respectively. So mablis na rin. As you can see, when tested on some tools gaya ng Blackmagic Disk Speed Test, Ato Disk Benchmark, and Crystal Disk Mark, kung saan yung mga results natin is near the advertised speeds. I also did a little file transfer test of a 10GB movie clip back and forth to our test PC which features a 1TB Gen 3 NVMe SSD as well with the Ryzen 5 3600 and X570 motherboard. Dito makikita natin na stable lang speed niya throughout large file transfers. If there's a lot of different files, gaya nitong copy test ko for the Steam directory of F1 2021, medyo nagbabago yung transfer speed but it's still normal in this case. Lastly, the Crash C720 is available in many capacities such as 256GB, 512GB, 1TB, and 2TB and comes with a 5-year limited warranty as well as a Chronis backup software. On the other hand, yung Crash C920 2TB naman does come with an NVMe 1.4 standard. PCIe Gen 4 na rin, so much faster speeds. Like twice the speeds of Gen 3 on some drives. Of course, SLC caching then and 3D NAND flash. Hardware LDPC ECC along with an unidentified Fison controller as well. It advertises sequential read and write speeds of up to 7,000 and 6,850 megabytes per second, respectively. So double the speeds of our Gen 3 drive. On our test, medyo may gap between the advertised speeds and our result. As you can see naman on Blackmagic Disk Speed Test, Ato Disk Benchmark and especially with Crystal Disk Mark. Again, performance may vary depending on the test hardware and software. Lastly, the Crash C920 is available in only 1TB and 2TB capacities. So this is intended more towards users na nangangailangan ng high-speed na SSD, such as content creators, at iba pa. It also comes with a 5-year limited warranty for peace of mind and a Chronis backup software then for data migration or just backing up files. In my opinion, these Kleb SSDs are actually a good option if you're looking for a no-frail solution on upgrading your storage or boot drive. SLC caching, 3D NAND flash, and hardware LDPC ECC are all present which makes this drive a great offering along with their competitive good price. Alright, so guys, yun lang. Uh, ito lang po yung review ko ng Kleb Crash C920 and yung C720 na NVMe SSD. So for those of you who are asking, hey Christian, where do I get this? Um, I'll put na lang yung link sa description ng video. I will update you guys once uh, yung availability is okay na. So you can check it na lang dun sa description ng video. So there you have it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Ako sa action. So like the video, subscribe, 
I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.